I'm a program manager. I manage the central accessibility testing team. For example, when you're trying to make products accessible for a blind person, mm. you try to make sure that your products are accessible using keyboard alone, which means unintentionally or as a side effect, you're also covering people with certain motor disabilities, meaning mm. people who cannot use a mouse or something like that. Mm. So that's kind of, it's all mixed up in a sense. So you can't give a definitive list of what all disabilities you're actually covering. Hmm. Now, yours is a very interesting case, Jyotsna. You were able to see until a few years ago. Yes, I was able to see um, up till November 2004, hmm. uh, when I was about uh, 21 years old, hmm. was when I lost my vision. What advice would you give to somebody who is visually impaired or cannot hear, mm -hmm. you know, some disability of some kind? Mm -hmm. What advice would you give them can they study or do something in the field of engineering or sciences or math? Because technology has helped you. Mm -hmm. And now a lot of these things are available for, you know, they're accessible for people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. The first thing to, that they need to do to get into their mind is there is nothing that they cannot do. They should not change anything in life or their perspective of what job to get into just because they think they have a disability. There isn't anything of that sort. And I would say aim for the job that you dream of. Don't change your dreams. And try your best. The, I'm not saying the first step or second step or even the 50th step will get you success. But keep on trying. Because unless until you try, and understand until you believe in yourself, no one will believe in you. And this Support for the series on women in science and tech comes from Genentech.